So when I got the script and I got the invitation to come join the, the cast, for me, it really, it was like a big bouquet of flowers to me that was sent to me and that said, everything's gonna be okay and you don't. Hi, Teresa. Hola. Teresa. <laughs> Hola, nice ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. Muy bien, Hola, nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Okay, let's talk about Fathers 2. And it's a beautiful movie. I really enjoy a lot. So I would like to know, what was your conversations with the director, Rosaline and Mark Walbert on the approach on Carmen? Um, Rosie, Rosie gave me a lot of freedom to create Carmen however I, I, I saw her. And then whenever we were on set, if she saw something that she didn't quite see going there, then she would tell me. But she's a director that gives you a lot of freedom, freedom. And that's a that's very that's a, that's really incredible for an actor. She's very calm and, and she knows what she wants. She prepared for the film quite a lot. And, and I think that one of the things that she liked more about Carmen was that she really represented the the generosity and the love and the beauty of the community that I come from, which is Mexico. <laughs> and uh, and, and we, we try to just have that pour out of me, you know, just like, just kind of be there, be there for that. And, and Mark was also incredibly generous and supportive. Um, he, he just let me do uh, whatever interpretation of Carmen I had. And, uh, and he was there for me like a, like a fellow actor. It was a really incredible experience. You you were like familiar with the story before reading the script? No, not at all. Uh, I read the script and it was the very first time I heard of Father Stu. And I didn't know he was a, a real life character until I finished the script. And then it said, you know, Father Stu died. And like, I was like, oh my God, this is a true story. And Carmen was also a true, a, a tr a true life character. She lived. But uh, we didn't have any record of her. We didn't. We couldn't find her, so I couldn't see pictures. I didn't. I didn't know anything but like a couple of things that Father Stu had said that he had this girlfriend that was a Latina that that he introduced them to faith, and she was very beautiful. They were gonna get married, and then he had this whole struggle, and the hardest part was to let go of Carmen. <laughs> Yeah, yes, yes. And also like the movies like it is about redemption, second chances. What do you think? Like what did you learn like with this movie playing Carmen and the father's two story? What did you learn about yourself or about life? Well, I think um the the film came to me right after the the very hard months of the quarantine when we didn't know whether the industry was going to be able to film again where we didn't know where the world was going so when i got the script and i got the invitation to come join the, the cast for me it really it was like a big bouquet of flowers to me that was sent to me and that said everything's going to be okay and you don't you don't have to worry. I think it was a really scary time for the world when we started shooting it. So it really grounded my faith in a different way, in a way that now, um, now I just know that we're not alone, that we, that there, there is a, a greater force walking with us. And so still really left my faith a lot stronger than when I came in, you know, like I feel accompanied by someone, I feel protected by by a bigger force and i think i think if people see it i hope that resonates and i hope that we can bring that message in a world full of bad news and chaos i feel like fathers too is a really incredible message for that it's an incredible story and you're so beautiful with that white dress i don't want to spoil you but you are so beautiful with that yes and work with now gibson and jackie and and all this experience and yeah. And aside from this one, you have anything else coming up for you this year? Yeah, I mean, I was talking to Rosie, the director, and, and I told her, I think that Father Stu somehow blessed me in a way that ever since I did the movie, I haven't stopped working on projects that are 
incredible and important and beautiful and that bring light to the world and I really do feel like after that film I just so I have I don't know six seven projects coming out this year that I filmed after Fathers 2 and I'm very proud to for, for Fathers 2 to be kicking off this season of, of um, harvesting for me <laughs> yes yes is there is Teresa before Fathers 2 and after Fathers 2 I'm sorry <laughs> right? There is Teresa before and after fa fathers too. <laughs> for sure, for sure. My faith changed and that changes everything in a person. <laughs> Amazing. I just want to thank you so much for your time. Muchas gracias. A lot of success and I see you next time. Thank you. Muchas gracias. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.